This is actually the last fit that I'm going to be showing you guys, but before we actually get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support and shout out to Dave. I met him yesterday picking up the Air Jordan 1s that I showed you guys earlier in this intro. And that was the first time somebody has ever came up to me and asked me for a picture and I had to return the favor and say, yo, I need one as well, just for my own memory. And uh, that was just a big moment to me, you know what I mean? Just a little thing that matter like that. And um, it was just, I was going to stay in the house, you know what I mean? And then me not staying in the house. I was able to get that achievement unlocked. I just want to say thank you, Dave, for you know noticing me and uh, chopping it up with me. I know I probably talked your head off, but uh, let's get into this video. Okay, guys, now I told you guys I was going to style the Ramelzies for you guys, so here we have it. I have a Supreme shirt from week one, with like that Everlast type of look to it, and it says NYC in the middle in black and white. Now I'm about 5'9 to 5'10, 160 pounds, and this is the fit right here. I have on these black Taylor cargo pants, I mean, they're not cargo pants, they're track pants. I don't know the name of them, but I will link it here. I have about 40 pairs of pants from them. So sometimes I forget which is my favorite. And as you guys know, I normally do wear the same ones in all the videos because I feel like those are my favorite to wear. But anyway, this is what the pants look like and the shirt looks like now. The shirt isn't a size large if you guys are thinking about getting this and have similar measurements to myself. Now you could go to the medium and have it hug your arms a little bit more. But since I am getting back in the gym, I kind of want to fill this shirt out more. So it's giving me motivation to work into this shirt and make it, you know, look better on me. But to each his own. Now, with that being said, this is the pants on me. The pants are in a size 32 and they have zips on the outside instead of the inside. So you can unzip it here and it can show your leg or, you know, you can zip it all the way down. Depending on how you, you know, style or want to style your joints. But this is what it looks like on me. I have the white laces, the black laces. Let me know which one you guys like better, the black look or the white look in the laces, or you guys gonna do like the one in one just to have the best of both worlds. I'm gonna cover over the tongue like normal. This is normally how I like to wear my shoes, but with the track pants, it does look good with the tongue showing, I will say. But this is the fit, man. Um, let me know what you guys think about this fit. I'm about to go into the next one, but I just wanna show you guys this one. Hopefully the lighting once again is good for you guys so you guys can see. I'm um, thinking about getting a new camera as well and a new mic very soon because I need better detailing and up close more images. So hopefully we see that soon, but let's get into the next look for you guys. Now it is starting to get cold here in Jersey. This is what the jacket looks like on me without a hoodie. Pretty dope in my opinion. Um, let me know if you guys like this jacket or probably gonna get it in a different colorway or you know, if it's not really your thing, but this is how it looks, you know, without a hoodie and jacket open. All right, I'm gonna zip it up for you guys as well, though. Show you guys real fast what it looks like. Okay. Just in case you guys are wondering, you know, it's about to get cold outside. You might wanna have a staple piece. So I just wanna show you guys real fast. But let's get into the next look. All right, guys, now we have hoodie vibes right here. So I have an essential hoodie on in a size small. Once again, I'm about 5'9 to 5'10, 160 pounds. If you don't know your sizing on essentials, go one size down from your original size if you want this type of look. If you want it to be a natural baggy, get your true original size. Now with that being said, this is what it looks like on me. Now I do have my shirt tucked in under this so I can just show you guys what it looks like without an extender tee, but this is how it looks on me. All right, show you guys real fast. Just to give you a quick look, you know, this is like a normal fit that somebody could wear. So just wanna show you guys what we're working with. So take out the shirt, just in case you guys wanna wear like an extender. This is how it looks right here. Give you guys a quick look real fast and turn around. All right, I'm gonna throw on the jacket, the yellow john. Do a quick for you Boom. Hoodie up, hoodie down. I feel like I should have got red in this jacket. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, but uh, I did kind of wait, but I did kind of like the way the yellow popped. So, you know, it is what it is, but 
I'm gonna have to get an all-purpose black Supreme jacket, I think, later in the season, but this is the fit right here. But let's get into the next one. If you wonder what style or what number is the jacket. So in my opinion, North Face 700 is the best looking jacket. So as you guys see, these jackets right here are all 700s. They're the best in my opinion. They're warm, they look fly. And this jacket that you guys see right here kind of mimics the 700, but not as much. But this is the Nike Supreme uh, jacket collaboration. So I'm gonna show you guys this real fast. Just because it's the all solid black jacket that I have and the only one that I have only, honestly. So, you know, this is what it looks like with the hoodie on. I don't know if you guys wanna zip it up. So I'm gonna zip it up for you guys. That's what it looks like. Just in case you guys are wondering, you know. But let's get into the next look. I don't think I ever showed you these pants, period. It's not like a khaki. It's more so like a mustard. Kind of like a yellow feel to it. I don't know if it's picking up in the camera, but these are dope. Um, like I said, I have so many pants that I just don't even wear because I just stick to my favorite ones that they, you know, give me. But, um, man, these are fly too. Now, I know you guys want to wear the Hellstar, the Rude, but in my opinion, you know, it's going to cost you a lot of money to get that stuff, especially if you're buying it off the aftermarket. Now, if you want to be fly like that, you're going to have to do one of my things and, you know, be outside, be retail poppy, because if you're doing it the other route, it's going to be very expensive and you're going to have to find ways to recoup that money um, if you, you know, are just a regular person like myself. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people are out there spending, you know, thousands of dollars on clothes. But in my opinion, when you get things for retail, it's a lot easier to afford things. And when you pay with credit card, you can always pay at the end of the month instead of you paying right then and there for it. So you have 30 days or depending on when your date is to drop, you know, to pay your bill. But this is the fit right here, man. I'm not gonna go too much into detail about that. We'll probably talk about that in another video. This is a styling video. So this is the fit. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know in the comment box below, one through 10. Let me know y'all best fit too, like which one y'all think I put together best, but let's go to the next fit. All right, so this fit is for the dudes out there that like the match, you know what I mean? It's a matching fit in my opinion. Now the jacket does give a different tone to it, but you know, this is the fit right here. I just want to show you guys what it looks like real fast. Something quick, something light, you know what I mean? Just in case a few people are wondering what some things look like on the rack, but let's get into the next fit. Now this combo that you guys see right here is probably one of the cheapest. And you guys always ask me where these jeans are from. Now, with that being said, this shirt costs either 38 or 48 bucks retail. The pants cost me 20 retail from Primark. And the sneakers cost me 138 or 148 retail. So all together, you know, we probably spend just over 200 bucks or just under 200 bucks if I had to add it up together in my head real fast. Yeah, so with that being said, this is the fit right here. Calm, simple. But you gotta be a retail boy to get this fit, you know what I mean? So you can't just, you know, be on the internet trying to, you know, get these shoes and then put together this fit. You actually have to be outside, you know, you have to make connections, you have to wait in line and things like that. Now, if you're too young to do that, I, I don't got no solution for you, but you know, if you are of age, you know, you're gonna have to put a little bit of more work in and things like that. Um, try to trade some of your older stuff to buy something that you really want. That's something I always used to do and still do to this day, honestly. Like if there's something I really want, I don't wanna spend the money for it. I'll just pit up together a whole bunch of things. That's why you see all this stuff, you know, of the same shoe. So I can be able to trade these things for better items if I'm not able to get my hands on them for people that want these type of items that couldn't get them. So with that being said, this is the fit right here. Pants over the tongue. Show you guys real fast. What do you guys think about this fit? Rate it one through 10, let me know in the comments box below. All comments are good, positive, negative. I love them all, you know, um, they all help me grow. So let's get into it. Next fit. One of my favorite pants in my collection right now, these North Face pants. This is the Summit Series Future Light. Um, basically the more tailored and, you know, fitted type of ones. And I love these a lot. These look really nice with SBs. It really does give you that skateboarder look. And uh, this is really dope. So when it does get cold outside, these will keep you warm. And these are fire, man. I forgot how much these cost. They did cost me a pretty penny, but I had asked for them for Christmas. So it didn't cost me anything. I just had to voice it. 
and it just connected and I just received these. So this is the pants right here. We also can unzip this, but if you don't have anything under, you know, it just shows nothing inside. It's a pocket right here. Some of them, when you do unzip it, it shows your legs and whatnot. That does happen like if you unzip it from here though. So you can see that I have nothing on right there with my gloves. But if you unzip from here, you do get a nice pocket in there. And I just love these pants, man. I think these pants was like 300 or like 400, something like that, but they're worth it. In my opinion, it's all dependent on your pocket, but I just want to show you guys these because I feel like, you know, these are it right here. But cover the pants, you know, that's my style. I can't wait to rock these pants this winter, but man, these are just tough. What do you guys think about this fit right here? Let me know in the comments box below. You know what I mean? Rate it one through 10 too. Don't just be dry with it. Rate me one through 10, you know what I mean? Um, let's, let's have a debate, but this is the fit right here. Let's get into the next one. I know it's only September and I'm showing you guys winter vibes, but I had to show you guys this fit real quick. Now this is the Claws North Face collaboration. They are coming out with a collaboration on the 9th. I probably will have a video on some of the new stuff that does come out, Claws and uh, Uniflow, I believe it is. But this is the fit right here. Clean fit. Like I said, the best North Face jacket to buy is a 700 in my opinion. It does look really nice. So, you know, if it's too much for you now, try to get one for Christmas from Mom Dukes or Pops or whatever. Or, um, you know, just save up for a nice winter jacket, especially if you're going to be outside. But um, I honestly just bought all these jackets that you guys see and got some as gifts for Christmas like a year or two ago. So honestly, you know what I mean? It's not really a need for me. Like if you have a car, you know what I mean? You don't really need a jacket in my opinion because you're just going to be in the car to the store. Back in your car is heated. You know what I mean? So, but to each his own. But let's get into the next fit. Okay guys, now this is probably gonna be the last fit of the day. I have to go. Um, I told you guys I have some union stuff coming out, so I will be doing like uh, how to style the unions. But if you guys like these type of videos, let me know. I don't mind doing them. I will probably show you guys one option of a t-shirt, different pants, and probably a hoodie and a jacket look with it. Just so you guys can get an idea of what the fit look like. Cause you guys are always asking me like show more of my full body. So this is the pants right here. Probably one of my favorite pants from Black Taylor ever. I love these pants. You guys see these in a lot of my rails when I do them, but these are the V2 cargos. So this is the fit right here. Once again, this fit is under 200 bucks total. If you get everything full retail, retail poppy, retail boys, receipt boys, and you guys can get these pants for 10% off by using my code YDavis10. So you know, if you need some nice khaki pants and something that you can wear outside of just going to school, this is definitely the pants for you. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna cover the laces on these. Got some threads sticking out from my sneaker. So I covered the thread. So I covered up the laces on these. And this is what it looks like. Clean fit. I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. And once again, in the comments box below, let me know, you know what you guys wanna see. And rate this fit one through 10 for me in the comments box below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love and stay tuned.